Hello everyone, welcome back. What are we up to today? I'll show you. This is what we're up to today. This is a Evolution 260cc engine that I bought for a third scale Stearman project that's been sitting for quite a few years now. And so I wanted to drag this thing out, blow the dust off and see will, will it run after sitting for so long. So that's what we're up to today. First thing I'm going to do is make sure I get this thing clamped down to the sawhorse is good. I'm just going to put some quick clamps on it. Make sure the propeller doesn't hit. Now the weight of this engine is 16 pounds, so it's quite nose heavy, and once it starts up, starts pulling, it's going to pull the stand right over, so I'm going to have to put some straps on it. Alright, got another strap. This one should be long enough. A couple of spikes in. To give me just enough pull or re resistance that it won't flip over by itself. Okay. All right, next thing to do is to oil up our tappets. And uh, then we need to flush the fuel tank. All right, so this is 70 weight gear oil in this can. And this is what we use just to give the the uh, tappets a little lube. Mm -hmm. 
and you just need to get it in there as best you can. Once you do this once for the day, then you'll be good for the, for the rest of the flying day. really wish they had made valve covers for these so you didn't have to worry about dirt and everything else getting in it. Cloud ones are probably not bad because gravity brings all the oil down. We'll give them a little shot anyway. Okay, now I just need to flush this fuel tank out. It's been sitting for a while, so I'll. Just put some in, suck it back out, pollute it out. Hopefully the lines are still good. Nothing's deteriorated. Okay, that should be enough fuel. Okay, down at the bottom of the carburetor, there's a fuel primer bulb, which isn't very fun to get to, but we need to push on it and prime this carburetor up. Get my hands in there. It's been a while since I've done this. There we go. Gonna dump some fuel overboard, hopefully some of that old gas. Okay. I should do that. Now I'm gonna close the choke and uh, actually what I'm gonna do is put my finger over the back of the carburetor. And I need to rotate this engine a bunch of times to get it to draw fuel. I think the manual says rotate it five times, but being it's been sitting so long, I'll just keep rotating it. Okay. Yep, definitely got gas. All right, attempt number one. I have a servo tester here that I can control the throttle with. I'm going to bring it up off of idle. Mission's on. All right. Best guess is how many attempts it takes? Got me. One thing about this engine is, ooh, that kicked back a little bit. Um, there's multiple cylinders, so it uh, um, will hit in all different blade positions.
What is that? Three, four attempts? Not bad. Nice steady idle. Not bad. Let's just check and see if it'll restart easy. Yeah. Well, I'll clean the fuel out of this thing, get it cleaned up, and uh, and uh, hopefully maybe uh, work on the steerman this winter. But the thing is really above my skill level. But we'll see what happens. Um, so follow along, and uh, we'll try and finish this project. Back to work. <laughs> 